What's going on guys, I'm Andy here, back with another video, bringing you guys some more PvP battles with my buddy Matthew, doing some cliffhanger battles, I haven't done one of these in a while, and uh, as you can see, starting off with Dulong versus Clefable, not a very favorable matchup for me, but I'm gonna stick there with the uh, Dulong, get that icy one, and hopefully get the, uh, the debuff there, so. But yeah, so Matthew came to me uh, yesterday as I'm recording this video, asking to uh, basically help him test out some cliffhanger battles since he does have a remote cliffhanger coming up starting soon. And uh, I, of course, I said yes. So, plus, uh, I also haven't really been practicing cliffhanger that much anyway, so uh, I was good practice for both of us. So. so as you can see there, he switched out to, to his uh, uh, defense deoxys form. I'm going to go ahead and deal uh, the cycle boost even though... Um, Basically, just preserve a uh, dude on, get off another ice one. So, this uh, Deoxys already has um, an attack move up by so much, it's uh, pretty insane. So, uh, so he's gonna unfortunately take down my dude on there, but I do bring in uh, Bigger off here. And obviously, I have no shields left, so I'm just gonna take whatever this is. Um, but because of all that uh, debuffing half for his attack, that uh, Thunderbolt really didn't do much. So, as you saw there, I took down the Deoxys. He still has two shields. Um, going to go ahead and get off the body slam here on this Clefable. More than likely he's going to shield this because he has the shields. And then I'm actually going to switch out to Ferrothorn, a Pokemon that I am very happy to actually has like a really good chance to be well in PvP. He really hasn't had his time to shine, um, but I believe here in like a cliffhanger, or maybe an open great league, uh, he would do very well until he gets, until there's like a theme cup where uh, he, you know, really shines there. But uh, DC switched into uh, his fortress. I was able to get off the Charge attack there to slow his attack, and he spills off with the rock tomb. Obviously, with the keep off the rock tomb isn't gonna do that much, but I do get off another mirror shot here, and basically just gonna spam mirror shots pretty much. Uh, mirror shot and being obviously having the chance to lower the attack of whatever Pokemon it's used on, um, which is very very helpful. So as you can see, I get another attack debuff there. Uh, he does take on the, fer the feral thorn, but I do have a body slammer ready to go for this uh, fortress here. Again, Fortress is pretty tanky. Um, here, he does get off the charge attack. I'm expecting Earthquake, but it's a rock tomb, but because of all the debuffs there, I'm actually able to survive that and actually get to uh, basically take down his Fortress on fast attack, and then it immediately gets a body slam on this club table, which uh, will knock it out. So, again, Ferrothorn coming in close with those attack debuffs, especially also with Dugan and Icy Wind. Um, yeah, so I take game one, going on to game two here. Start off with Dugong again, he starts off with Vigoroth, and um, yeah, not the best match for me since those counters will be doing a lot of damage. So I really switch out to my own Vigoroth and go for a body slam. I'm guaranteed he had a body slam ready as well, he's just uh, farming up a little bit more energy here. And so there he goes, going to launch his own body slam, and uh, I'm going to actually let this one go through. So, I don't want to waste uh, the shield right away. I'm going to shield this one though because I do have a body slam on my own ready. Go ahead and shield that and then launch the body slam that I have. And again, only hoping to get the other shield and just take down the figure off. And, uh, he does shield it, so I got both the shields out and now I'm going to uh, bring back in the two gun. So again, those counters are going to hurt, but uh, you know, I'd rather bring in two gun over her Feral Horn for this matchup here. Switches into the Blastoise. I go ahead for an Icy Wind to get, you know, hoping to get the debuff here. Launch that, and uh, I do get it, so then I bring in Ferrothorn. So now we're both locked in with this, he can't switch out, and uh, obviously I have no shields, but because of that debuff, the Hydro Cannon that he's going to launch isn't really going to do anything. So, yeah, so just building up some energy, and then I go for a power over here, which will end up taking down the Blastoise. So, he goes, and now he's just, you know, debating what to bring in, he brings me to bigger off. I go for a minute shot. And as you can see, those counters were doing a lot of damage to uh, Feral Horn here. So I take down his big rock, and he brings in a Venusaur. And uh, this is where Feral Thorn's uh, kind of a low-key beast, in my opinion. Uh, so I do get one rare shot here. I do get the attack debuff. And uh, right here, I'm like, okay, whatever you're gonna, whatever turn attack you can use to take me out. Those for a Slug Bomb, I end up surviving that because of the debuff, and I do get off another rare shot right here. The, uh, still, still going strong, but I do get the debuff again, and because of that debuff, and I guarantee you Matthew had a, a charge move here, he should probably didn't use it in time, um, but I'm actually able to get off another mirror shot to take down the Venusaur, so, so again, GG's on that one, Matthew, so I do take game two, 
Um, going on to the next game here. I'm going to start off with Noctowl. He starts off with the Venusaur. kind of played mind games with him because uh, I did start off due going twice in a row. So I, I figured he was going to try to counter that with uh, a Venusaur. Um, when he switched out, I made me to his uh, Fortress. I, go, I stay in with Noctowl, obviously. And I'm actually going to switch out into Fairy Thorn here after I get that Sky Attack. So go for a mirror shot again. Basically, just trying to get the debuff as much as I can on his, on his Pokemon. It didn't happen that time. So here I'm just debating on what I want to do, if I want to shield or not. I do shield um, because I was expecting an Earthquake, I just miscounted. And, uh, go ahead and go for another Mirror Shot. Again, just hoping to get the, uh, the attack debuff. He shields that, but I do get the debuff there, so uh, I know I'm in a good position. He immediately switches out to Vigoroth. I decide to stay in and uh, just basically just try to get more debuffs if, uh, if possible. So fire off another Mirror Shot. Uh, the debuff doesn't go through, which is fine, but I bring in my own and figure out afterwards. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and not shield this, because I know he has energy built up. So, uh, and yeah, you can see he fired two back to back, so. I'm gonna go ahead and shield the second one, because I do have a body plan on my own ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and launch that. Go ahead and launch the body slam, that's gonna take my new off. He still has a shield left, so. I'm trying to see what he's trying to save it for. We get off another body slam here. I'm expecting him to shield this because obviously he wants his unit to stay alive. He does shield it, so now we're both going to have no shields. Um, this was probably a mistake on his part. I would have just tried to farm down my video off on this fast attack to save that. Uh, but now I'm just going to bring in a uh, knockout here. He's going to immediately switch into a fortress, but as you can see there, it still has the debuff. So I think uh, Matthew kind of forgot how the debuffs work and everything. So. Because of that debuff, I was able to survive the to him, and now I have a uh, Sky Tech ready to go for this Venusaur. So, more good games, Matthew. So I do take the games to be there. Again, just simple mistakes um, that you know could easily change. So going on to the next game, uh, I'm going to start off with Vigoroth. He starts off with the Blastoise. Uh, pretty decent matchup on both sides, uh, depending on shield use and all that. So go ahead and launch a Body Slam. Um, again, just hoping to do good damage or bait a shield. He lets it go through. Um, so as you saw there, it does really good damage. Now here I'm just debating, do I want to shield the Hydro Cannon? Do I want to let it go through? And I end up shielding it. So I'm just going to go ahead and build some more energy and then immediately switch out into Feral Thorn. And he's going to stay with Blastoise because he does have the Hydro Cannon ready to go. Um, but as you can see, even without the debuff, it really doesn't do that much. So um, he immediately switches out to Clefable, which probably not the uh, best choice. Um, because obviously fairy type is weak to steal and I do get the attack team up there so even though charm is very powerful um, I'm going to be able to basically win this match with the shield which is right there that's two bear shots in a row hitting shield and I'm just able to finish off with the fable on fast attacks only so again probably not the, the best switch um, for him to do there and I was just a big one he wants to bring in Brings in the defense Deoxys there, and I just, again, going for the mirror shots, basically just want to get the debuff if possible, which I do end up getting there. You know, I'm trying to get to one more mirror shot, but uh, Deoxys is able to take me out. So now I'm just waiting on what I want to bring in. I go for Vigoron, because I do have that body slam ready to go, so I'm hoping just to bait another shield. Um, we let that go through as well. And he still has two shields, hasn't even yet. I'm going to go ahead and shield this attack here. Um, he has Cycle Boost, or I was expecting Cycle Boost for the Thunder. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to preserve Vigoroth because I did have the body slam here ready to go. So he does shield that. He is still has one shield, and then we both switch um, at the same time. So I go ahead, take down his blast stories on his fast attacks, and then I have a sky attack ready to go for his Deoxys, uh, which he's going to shield. And now he's, you know, I guarantee you this is going to be a uh, Thunderbolt if I remember this correctly. The Thunderbolt, yep. But because of that attack debuff, I'm able to survive that and uh, finish off the Deoxys here on just with the uh, Sky Attack. So the debuff effect from Ferrothorn to your shot is uh, very, very useful, which is why I'm saying he's like a low-key beast um, for Cliffhanger, or again, basically for uh, like any open Great Lake stuff. So next game here, it's uh, Vigoroth versus Venusaur. Um, again, depending on shield usage, either one can win. Obviously, uh, Vigoroth has the advantage of being able to uh, get to the body slam first. He does shield that, and then I'm really going to go ahead and switch into Noctowl here. And, uh, I decide not to shield whatever this attack is. I'm expecting Sled Bomb, and of course it is. So it does a good chunk of damage there. Uh, 
but I usually go for a Sky Attack. He has uh, switched out to Blastoise there, and let's take a look at the Sky Attack still doing really good damage on this Blastoise, and I do actually get another Sky Attack off here, but I'm expecting him to shield this one, so. And uh, he clearly does, because I know he has a high hand and we're ready to go, he's just trying to farm me down, but I think right here he uses it uh, because he thought I was getting close to another Sky Attack, which I, mean, I, I kind of was, so. Take uh, some my uh, Noctowl. I bring out Ferrothorn, but the, that little uh, pop-up switch glitch happened right there, as you can see. It immediately brought up my uh, Figurehouse, so I really couldn't do anything, so I'm stuck with Vigoroth now. He switched up to his own. And now uh, I'm basically just gonna play it out. He has no shield, and I still got both mine, so I'm in a good position regardless. Go off, you know, for another Body Slam, takes down his Vigoroth, and he brings back the, the Venusaur. Um, obviously, I'm gonna shield this because I can. And basically just, you know, fire off one more body slam to, uh, take down his Venusaur. I'm just gonna go ahead and charge that up, attack, and then there it goes that. So, that's gonna be it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you please, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell, so you know every time I post a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.